going to show you our chili recipe that we use. We make it um, in bulk and then we freeze it. Well, it's bulk for us because there's only two of us. Um, it makes about eight servings, so in that retrospect, I guess it should be bulk for most families out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a close-up on the ingredients for you guys, and in the video it will say like how much of each, and then I will leave in the bottom bar below the actual recipe and the ingredients so you don't have to watch back through the video if you wanna cook it yourself. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with what you need to actually um, cook and make this meal. So the first thing is an obvious one, which is the crock pot. And if you have one, you don't need one. It'll just take a bit longer to cut everything finely. I, we call it a chopper, I don't know. <laughs> um, something just to mix everything together, a knife to cut up everything, and you don't need this either, but we use a garlic press because there's a lot of garlic in this, and um, it might be kind of a pain in the butt to have to cut it all up by hand. That's it for the actual things that you'll need to make it. So for the actual ingredients that you will need, um, you're going to need an entire onion, kind of like a medium onion, I think this is about two cups. And then you're going to need a whole red pepper, a whole green pepper, two large jalapeno peppers. Um, this is just a mixture of a one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, and just a pinch of uh, pepper, which I just kind of grind some pepper in there until I'm happy. So put as much pepper as you wish. And then this is an entire garlic bulb with the whole thing and we put a large one in. So that really is up to preference as well. If you don't like a lot of garlic, which you should like a lot of garlic. If you don't, then um, just put less or more depending on what you would like. And then next you're going to need, this is a mixture of three tablespoons of chili powder and two teaspoons of um, red pepper or cayenne pepper. This is one tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of oregano, and one teaspoon of hot sauce. And then for your last few ingredients, you're going to need 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, 15 ounces of kidney beans, 15 ounces of diced tomatoes, and three tablespoons of tomato paste. And then of course, the last ingredient and the most important is um, just ground turkey, two pounds of it. So we're going to go ahead and start cooking. So starting off, you're going to put the onion and the garlic into the pan, and then you are going to saute that until your yellow onion is close to translucent. And then you will go ahead and add your turkey and cook that until the turkey is almost completely cooked all the way through. So once you've put your turkey in, you can go ahead and grab first your crushed tomatoes and put those in. Then your drained kidney beans. Then grab your diced tomatoes. And last, you can measure out three tablespoons of tomato paste. Then go ahead and mix it up real good so that you don't have issues with spilling it out. Then next, you're going to go ahead and add your red pepper, then your green pepper, then two jalapenos, your salt, sugar, and pepper mix. Then add your chili powder and your cayenne pepper. Then add your olive oil, then add your oregano, and last but not least, add your hot sauce. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix it up all the way. Then you can go ahead and flip it to high, and it will cook probably about three hours or until it's just hot. Your turkey is pretty much already cooked all the way through anyway, so you don't have to worry about cooking it for a certain length of time. Just cook it until it's hot, and then you're good to go. Just wait until they are almost cooled completely and then you can go ahead and close them up and put them in the freezer or in the fridge. They last frozen a really, really long time. I have never gotten to the point that they were bad. Just go ahead and freeze whatever you would like or just put it all in the fridge and enjoy. 